think about some of the projects you did in high school. Maybe you dissected a frog or maybe you made a volcano. Well, some students at West Orange High School in New Jersey spent part of their semester designing a prosthetic leg for a dog. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates with their story. Hi, Cody. Cody is full of energy and these are some of his favorite friends, West Orange High engineering students who are helping to make sure Cody stays mobile and agile for years to come. Cody was rescued from Puerto Rico. They um, found him out on the street. They had his leg removed because it couldn't be saved. He gets around just fine on his three legs, but as he ages, arthritis can become an issue. The majority of the weight is on the front legs. Um, so if we can give his front end a little bit of a rest, maybe that'll delay the arthritis a little bit. That's where the students come in. You know, you're working off, off of a mold rather than the dog directly. The company 3D Pets is giving them hands-on experience building Cody's prosthetic like the one you see on trip. Primarily our rule of thumb is no, they must be at least a year old or until those growth plates are closed. Their teacher has had this class since their freshman year. They're doing pretty good. They get a little, you know, nervous sometimes, like, we're not good enough. I'm like, you can do this. You can do this. 3D Pets founders were STEM students back in high school. They now make prosthetics for pets all over the world and wanted to touch the next generation. I do plan on going into either industrial or mechanical engineering, and I might be working with projects like this, such as 3D designing things, um, 3D designing prosthetics. And they have. Over half of them, have accepted positions at engineering schools. Oh, good. So m most of them are planning to go on into engineering, <laughs> thinking about them leaving me. Um, so I'm just so proud of them. Well, keep them up for me. Cody will be fitted with his prosthetic in about five weeks. In West Orange, Tony Yates, Channel 7. Nice job. Eyewitness News.